Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, today, I thought we'd go back to simpler times. I thought we'd live off the land for this video. I've got my Sim here, her name is Macy. She lives in a rather secluded island in Sulani. I think it's from playing so much of The Sims Castaway that made me wanna, I guess, not recreate it in The Sims 4, but do a playthrough of something of a similar nature. So yeah, we live alone in this island. We've got everything we need. We've got a little kitchen here, even got a chicken coop, laundry, fire pit. We've got a fishing spot over there so I can grill my fish on a stick. We've got some gardening planters, bathroom, humble bedroom over here. And we do have the lot trait, or the lot challenge even, of off the grid living. I never really play off the grid because it's not really my sort of thing. Usually when I play The Sims 4, whether it be for a video or just for myself, it's usually some sort of family gameplay. Hey Macy, why don't you go fishing? And then also maybe gather some water. Yeah, I just haven't really been interested that much in like survival style playing The Sims 4. I did one time try and live off the grid when I did a video living with every single lot challenge and it was very frustrating, very difficult and you're not going to believe this but my brain has only just registered this section here in Build and Buy. <laughs> it's been here the whole time and for some reason I've just looked straight past it, never really acknowledged that it was a thing. So anytime I've tried to play off the grid I mean, you guys know me, I don't really try and find instructions or guides. So I just assumed off the grid just meant, you know, you've got fuck all. All of your food you have to get yourself by catching fish, growing plants, no water supply. And I did think at the time, you know, this is impossible. How does anyone live off the grid? Only today did I actually look into what that really meant and realized that, oh, you actually can have plumbing, like a toilet and a bath. You just have to gather your own water and you can have a stove and fridge. I thought off the grid was just a uh, barbecue. So yeah, you learn something new every day. So I thought we would try something new. We would see what life is like living off the grid for a few days. So we're not gonna get a job, but we are gonna try and fend for ourselves. I would like to at least experience living off the grid, you know? So, We've got some seed packets. We'll get a head start on gardening. Then we'll collect some water so we can have a nice bubble bath. All right, what do we have to grow here? We've got tomatoes, bananas. Oh, cherry tree, lemon tree. Oh, we could, we could also grow some flowers as well, you know, for atmosphere. Might go for two lemon trees. Yeah, that's right, Macy. That's what hard work looks like. You're getting a bit tired. She already has queued up, argue with someone. Who is that? Someone trying to come over to my island. This is my land. I'm just gonna cross it off. We don't need to start beef with random strangers, okay? Oh, my tomatoes are starting to sprout. Oh yeah, they're gonna come up lovely. Oh, you know what else I wanna do? I wanna restock myself with some chickens. Uh, purchase chicks. Okay, we're gonna get six girls and two boys. You know what? We're gonna start with only 20 simoleons so that we can scatter some feed for the chickens. We shouldn't have to make too much money to pay our bills because we're living off the grid, but we do need money anyway to, you know, keep the chickens alive and just have something in, in the bank for a rainy day, you know? Everyone's happy, everyone's fed. Yeah, okay, everyone's clean, everyone's happy and fed. All right, you can go to bed now if you want. I don't know why you want to go to sleep at 2 p.m., but that's fine. I guess you have been working really hard for like a few hours. That's what happens when you play as a young person doing this, I guess. Right, so hopefully we should be able to cook meals with fish that we've caught, vegetables that we've grown, and eggs. Yeah, yeah, all right, go use the bathroom then. And then I see you're hungry. Maybe we should light this, see if we can grill a fish. We could make fish on a stick. I love the sound of that fire pit crackling. Something real soothing about that. Oh, shit. Oh, a stranger has come over to help. Thank you, Trey. Oh, we can't even afford to replace our chair. Did you even get to eat the fish? Oh, I think she, she did at least get to eat the fish. Right, why don't you eat the plantain and then gather some water for the next time you want to have a bath. Then we'll do some laundry. Keep on top of our, our jobs. 
Hey guys, I don't think you realise, but you're just kind of walking around my house, so if you could fuck off. Just trying to live my life. Oh yeah, living off the land. Maybe we'll... How are the chickens doing? They're fine? Six eggs ready to collect? In just a day? Oh, perfect. Right, okay, Macy, I know you're not that tired, but I want to try and get you on a fairly normal sleep schedule. So you go to bed now. Oh, I'm worried that maybe the things I've planted won't sprout soon because we only have one day left. So if these trees don't grow by tomorrow, then it was kind of a waste of money and we can't really afford many more packs of seeds. Oh, are you eating some roasted fish? Oh, look at you making the most of the stuff you've collected. All right, we'll scatter some feed. We will uh, clean the coop. See, your social need is going down. Man, these chickens were a wise investment, not only for the eggs, but for the social need as well. Oh yeah, also we need to add ice to this thing. I think you have to add ice to the fridge every day. Although I don't know what would happen if you didn't. I guess the food would go off. You guys are deceptive little fucks. You've got pop-ups wanting seed and you're all full. You're trying to bleed me dry. Okay, sweet, social is full. Can we take a bath? Take a quick and tepid shower. Oh, I hope these trees grow soon. And then, Macy, probably we should do a bit more fishing. It's just nice to be free, you know, out in nature, where I can just let everything hang out. Oh, this is quite a, a nice life, actually. It, I've had no troubles getting Macy's needs up. She's even having fun fishing, you know? I have nothing that I can complain about in this video. So seeing as, you know, needs aren't an issue, we can fill them all pretty easily, we've got everything we need, perhaps we should try and turn our focus more on to making money. we got our harvestables growing, they're not ready to be harvested yet, but, you know, fingers crossed, tomorrow might be the day. We do have more eggs than we're gonna eat, so I don't even know how to make eggs. So we could probably sell some of those, and also we're gonna catch more fish than we're gonna eat as well, so we can sell some of those too. That can be our income, just living off the land. Sell fish, sell eggs, sell harvestables. Almost makes me wish there was some kind of market, you know? Like the one in Henford on Bagley, where you can just buy a little stool, sell your, your goods, like your catchings. What the fuck are you doing here? The mayor just heard Henford on Bagley and decided to come on over. No thanks, Welcome Wagon, I have all the friends I need. They're over there by the chicken coop. You haven't caught a single fish yet. That fish was from earlier. Okay, finally, finally, we got a fish. So what we'll do is we'll sell the yellow perch. Oh, she just got a big fish. All right, that's enough. That's enough fishing now. You can go take a little island shit, if you like. I can afford to replace my chair now. Okay, great, great. How are the chickens? They all full? Yep, they're full. They're clean. Good times. So we'll unload and set the laundry down. We've got another load of laundry to do right here. Never end in this laundry. You know, I kind of feel like I, I, I have found a reason to moan, actually, with the laundry. I kind of feel like when the Sims team know that we want something, they must have such a laugh in the office because they're like, yeah, all right, we'll give it to you. But they always do it in the most inconvenient way, I find, you know? Like, we wanted to do laundry just as a, like, tedious task. Now, I don't know about most people, but when I do laundry, it's maybe once every other day. And I imagine people that have, like, even, even people that have loads of kids, maybe they do one load of laundry a day, perhaps two. Not in The Sims 4. In The Sims 4, every single time you get changed, you have a pile of laundry... You gotta move it into the laundry basket, you gotta click on it to do everything. An interaction to put it in the washing machine, an interaction to turn the washing machine on, another one to move it into the dryer, another one to turn the dryer on, and then another one to take it out. And I might be wrong, but I just don't think that's what people meant. I feel like people meant, you know, can, can we please just have laundry added as like an extra task? And instead we got laundry added as a task that ends up taking over a lot of your time. Maybe it's just me, but when I play with a household that has a washing machine, oh, we can make some tomato sauce. It takes over my day. Just a bit more micromanagement that, than I was hoping for. Oh, look, you made your first tomato sauce. Okay, so tomatoes on their own sell for five simoleons. We could make a tomato sauce business. 
They're worth 18 simoleons a pop. Okay, well then, what I'm gonna do, I'll sell two of them, keep one for me. Needs are still good. Let's go scatter some feed nearby. We need to clean the coop as well. Oh, more eggs to collect. Collect those eggs. Then we'll collect some more water. How many eggs have we got? That's four, five, 15 eggs worth 145 simoleons. Okay, let's check our bills information. How much are we gonna be charged? 296, that sounds a lot of money. Tax breaks and penalties, oh. That is way too spence. We lived off the land because we thought it would make it cheap. We can play, what, play with fire? <laughs> She's gaining fun from that. Gaining fun from poking fire with a stick. Oh, that hen over there is really hungry, but I scattered so much feed nearby. Right, who's hungry? Who's not? It's because these fucks have been eating all the food, so black hen couldn't get any. White hen's also starving. You selfish, selfish assholes. Right, I'll feed these guys, and then I'm going to have a chat to them as well. All right, sweet. Everyone's eaten. Everyone's happy. Do I have any new eggs to collect? Oh, what are you going to make? Garden salad. Better add some ice to the fridge. Is there not even an, an animation for that? Is that just a stand up and look at the fridge situation? Oh, okay, she just grabs the midair. All right, fine, well, why don't we go get some sleep? Maybe tomorrow our plants will have grown. Oh, yes. Tomatoes growing. We have a cherry tree. I'm a bit concerned about those lemon trees. That hasn't bloomed at all. Neither has the banana tree. But we've got some flowers. That'll be worth a bit of money. So we will harvest all. I'm gonna have to so we can afford these bills. These extortionate bills. I really thought my bills would be like 50 simoleons. Not fucking 300 simoleons. Okay, well we have 35 tomatoes that we can sell for 180. These flowers, 598. Cherries. All right, sweet. We've got more than enough money to pay our bills. And I see you're getting a bit peckish. Perhaps we should cook a fish. All right, you know what? I wanted to spend a couple of days living off the grid. And I have. But I feel like we've kind of had a bit of an easy ride so far. So I'm kind of at the point now where I feel like, fuck it, let's just do 24 hours with all of the lot challenges on. I did this once, it was a fucking nightmare, but now that I've got to grips with living off the grid, I kind of feel like I might have an easier time of it now than I did the first time. So, and last time I did three days. So 24 hours now, it's gonna be piss easy. We've got money, we can afford our bills. <laughs> all I have to do is just keep her happy. So I see we need to socialize a little bit. Maybe we'll go chat to some chicks. Chat up some birds. All right, ladies. How much can go wrong in 24 sim hours, really? Oh shit, look at that banana tree. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, I don't think so. Shoe star away. I don't think so, star. You scoundrel, I just got this banana tree. You can fuck right off, mate. Thinks he's gonna eat my chickens. I don't think so, you little prick. These lot traits are not gonna make a fool out of me. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, they are cute foxes. Oh, he was an elder as well. Oh, it's so hard not to have sympathy for him, but, you know. I'm sure he's got a home somewhere. I'm sure he's got a little house. She still has a spring in her step. Being proactive, even doing the laundry look. Completely off her own back. Turn my camera this way so I can keep an eye on the chickens. Make sure there aren't any foxes coming to eat them. You guys all right? We all cool? We chill? Yeah, you're fine. Could do with some fun. Why don't you go fishing? You like that. You find that fun. Okay, cool. That fun need is pretty full. What did we catch? Oh, a celestial grouper. Maybe we will clean the coop. Uh, we'll scatter some feed because we've got loads of money. I reckon by tomorrow we'll be able to gather some bananas. Harvest some bananas anyway. I really don't know what the deal is with the lemon tree. I think they might be more of a long game and I'm not confident that we're gonna see them bloom. Should we cook something off the grid? Um, oh yeah, that's right. I can, I've got the thing where I can only cook with the stuff I've got. S fish on a stick it is then. We're basically a pescatarian. Hopefully it doesn't start a fire because when I did this with all the lot traits on before, I started fires a lot. Although I'm pretty sure that was with the grill. So I think we might be okay with the stove. Yeah, no problems. That fish looks great, looks delicious. You enjoy yourself, girl. 
I don't want to speak too soon, but even with all of the lot challenges on, this is a walk in the park. So peaceful. Maybe we'll finish that laundry we did. That water looks kind of gross. I don't... Oh, replace water. Okay. Yeah, we'll replace it with some cleaner water. There we go. Fresh water. Are you going to go to bed? You're a bit tired. I imagine she'll get night terrors and wake up with, like, bugs crawling all over her. Or there'll be some kind of, like, volcano eruption. Take a quick shower. She's such a cheerful sim. She's happy. Take an island ship. And then I see you're still a bit tired, so we'll probably go back to bed after that. She does have nausea from her lot trait. I think that one came with um, city living. But other than that, I mean, we've done 12 hours with all lot traits enabled. And all we've had is one fox and a cheeky bit of nausea. Oh, okay, well, the gremlins have come and they've broken our stove and our refrigerator. But I think they should be working again in the morning, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're, like, broken at night, but then they miraculously work again in the morning. Oh, the clothesline as well is broken. Okay, we're now in full, so we're definitely never going to see those um, bananas. But we've got some flowers that we can harvest. And I think we'll get some good experience with repairing stuff. Wake up now, it's time to start our jobs. We need to scatter some feed nearby. And... Oh, collect the eggs, of course. Clean the coop. She's a bit hungry. I can eat a lemon. And then we need to repair this clothesline so that we can wash that stinking bag of clothes. That stinking pile of clothes. Okay, let's do some laundry. Yeah, we'll say Winnie. Yeah, I think that would probably help. We will throw this away. See if we can um, make a fish. Or cook a fish. I mean, technically, it has been 24 sim hours, but I just want to try and fix everything. Just so that I know I can, you know, fix everything and fulfill her needs. When everything's repaired and she's all in the green, then I'll be satisfied. Oh, we got a green egg and an orange egg. Okay, let's go repair the fridge. Because then that way we can try and make like a salad or a quick meal or something. Oh, wait, you've got this. Eat tomato sauce. Eat the tomato sauce, repair the toilet. Oh, no, she's getting desperate now. And by the time she's... Okay, quickly, use the bathroom. Quickly, use the bathroom. Don't pee yourself. Okay, then we need to repair the sink and repair the bath. I mean, this isn't really a hindrance, repairing stuff. If anything, it's um, it's helping build up our skills. So, okay, bathroom completely fixed. Now let's um, repair the fridge. And of course, we need to add ice. All right, fridge is fixed. Shit, I can't cook anything. Oh, not even a salad. Oh, fuck, and all my crops are like... Oh, all of my crops have gone because we're not in summer anymore. Okay, quickly go fishing. And hopefully we can catch something that we can we can grill before you die of starvation. Oh no, I can hear some unsettling noises. I think there's a fox around here. Okay, all six hens are in here. So I'm guessing maybe they just had a scrap between them. Because I don't see a fox. Oh no, the fish in this area are too sneaky. Shit, man. This is not good. I shouldn't have been too quick. I shouldn't have been so quick to sell all of my harvestables. Oh, there's the fox, you little fucker. Okay, right. Shoe star away. And then we're gonna uproot this plant so that we can buy some seeds. Purchase seeds, we got the money. Right, we're just going to get starter vegetables and then we'll eat some vegetables from a seed packet. Worst case scenario, I can always sell one of the chickens for meat, but you know, I really don't wanna have to do that. Okay, empty that trash. Try to clear the roaches, try to clear the flies, repair the stove. This is t It's taken all day to solve these problems, and by the time we wake up in the morning, everything's going to be broken again. Okay, she has a really low social need, so just come and... Come and talk to the chickens. Oh, there's another fox over there. I thought I shooed you away, you little prick. Look at him, looking at them. Fuck right off, mate. Okay, pretty much everything is green. We just need to go take a quick shower. And also, we've repaired everything. And on that note, I think I've had enough of fending for myself now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.